Right, um, so today is the day, even though it's colder than last time, but we're going to lift the cover now anyway. And um, our intern, Frank, will help me with that. So let's go to work. Right, and here it is. An M151 of the US Army. And even though the iconic blue plum-like logo is missing, it is a product of the Ford Motor Company. The M151 MUTT, or Military Utility Tactical Truck, was the successor of the last generation of the legendary Jeep in US service, the M38, and the predecessor of the Humvee. However, this particular M151 is a special one. First, it is an M151A1 to be precise, so it's the second generation. The M151 was put into production and into service with the US military in 1960. The A1 model was introduced in 1964. This vehicle was delivered to the US Army in April 1969, just before the A2 model started to roll off the assembly line. About um, 100,000 vehicles were produced altogether. And um, during its production period, AM General and Kaiser took over from Ford. But back to this car here. What makes it so special apart from being an a the A1 model? Well, first, um, there's the color, as you can see. It is, it's not exactly the standard olive drab or camouflage paint job as you'd expect in a military vehicle. Um, it's shiny, it sticks out, and the wheels are shiny too. The grill, as you can see, is made from chrome. And even the side mirrors over there, they are made from chrome. So it also has scaffolding at the back that is painted in white. The seats are white, well, you know, sort of, because they're, you know, I admit they're a bit dirty from the dust. Um, but there's a reason why this Ford MUTT looks so different. That is because it was used for one purpose only, ceremonial duties. This was one of two uh, M151A1s stationed with the 287th Military Police Company of the US Army Berlin Brigade. They were used mainly as parade vehicles. Its sister car is presented in the permanent exhibition at the Allied Museum, so come and check it out. Um, a few months ago, during one of those dire days of the still ongoing pand pandemic, we thought about ways of engaging with the public outside of the museum. And, um, well, we came up with an idea. Why not take the parade vehicle we have in storage and put it back on the road? So this way we can represent the history of the Allies outside of the museum grounds and bring this exciting and very important period of modern German and international history into public space again. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, with the help of a couple of experts, uh, we are going to give this M1 51A1 a complete overhaul and by the mercy of the MOT inspectors and the German DVLA we will get this car back on the streets of Berlin. Some might say you're a museum so you should preserve objects like this car here. Um, yes we're doing this just this already because um, we are preserving the car that's already on display but we also feel that bringing its sister car back on the streets of Berlin will help us preserve the history of the Cold War in Berlin even better. And, you know, the car is in good condition. It was retired by the US Army upon withdrawal from Berlin and handed over to the Allied Museum in 1994. Since then, it has remained in dry storage. Body and chassis, well, it's actually unibody, so body and chassis are sort of one. Um, they are in very good condition. There's no rust, which is great, so there's no welding or anything metal work that needs to be done. And the overall condition looks pretty good too. Of course, we have to replace all the rubber tubing, fittings, tires, everything made of rubber really. Um, but we also have to check the rest of this 2.2 liter four cylinder engine since it hasn't ran for over 25 years. But the mechanics who are going to work on the car, they are pretty optimistic that there is not really that much that needs to be fixing or that has to be replaced. And in order to get it road legal, we have to adjust certain parts like the lights uh, to German standards. 
we're all excited, really, really excited to start on this project and can't wait to get this car back on the road. So hopefully next time you will see me at the workshop getting my hands dirty. <laughs>